So now in this video, we're going to look at a circuit that I made where we have an output that will turn off when the supply voltage gets low enough. And it is adjustable. So we will uh, look at the details more coming up. But right now we got 12 volts, the red LED is on. And I believe when we go to 11 volts, the LED will turn off uh, right there. Now, if uh, we don't want it to be 11 volts where it turns off, let's say we want it to be 10. All we got to do is... Uh, First, you know, make sure the LED is on and uh, lower it down to 10 volts right there. Now, all I have to do is turn the uh, trim pot down until right when the LED uh, turns off. There we go. It's off. We got 10 volts at the supply right there. If we go to 11 volts, now the LED is on. So now, zooming in on the schematic I drew, we got the LM358 that we're using. That is an op amp. There's two op amps in the integrated circuit. We're using one out of uh, two of them. We're using the one on the left right there. The one that we're not using, we should wire as a voltage follower outputting ground, um, but uh, we're probably okay. So positive supply, pin eight, uh, negative supply to pin one. Uh, you can see that we got the inverting input, the minus above the non-inverting input. That's the way it is on the physical component. On the schematic though, sometimes uh, they put the uh, plus, the non-inverting above the inverting the minus there. But uh, we didn't do that there. But always pay attention to which side the plus and minus are. Remember the physical component will not always be the same as what's on the schematic. And we got the power pins there. So we're working with, uh, you know, 12 volts or less right there. We're using a 1000 ohm resistor to protect the red LED. So, um, you know, we should probably, you know, not go much more than 12 volts. Uh, the rest of the circuit could handle uh, more voltage. Um, but in any case, we are setting a fixed voltage for the most part, uh, regardless of supply voltage change to the inverting input. So about 5.1 volts because we have a reverse bias uh, Zener diode that's rated for 5.1 volts. And uh, so it doesn't let current flow through until it gets about 5.1 volts across it. Then it basically lets current flow freely after that point so it holds, it maintains about 5.1 volts across it. And whether you change the supply voltage or not, as long as the supply voltage is at least, you know, like a couple volts higher. So in any case, we're getting about 5.1 volts at that point. So now we have an adjustable voltage here that moves with the supply voltage. Plus we have a bit of positive feedback um, right there. Um, high value resistor, but uh, we got that uh, nonetheless. So any case, uh, you know, we can set this trim pot to, uh, you know, about uh, 5.1 volts, like halfway. That's what we had to do when we had like 10 volts right there. We had to send it basically uh, halfway here to get about 5.1 volts. And then we got the positive feedback, which is uh, going to raise it like a little bit. And um, so when we lowered the supply voltage, that dropped it uh, down. Uh, you know, when we lowered it down to 10 volts, we got, you know, like 5 volts there, a little bit less than 5.1, and it set the output low, which also pulled this down low a little bit to help kind of lock in that we did that. And uh, so we have to raise the voltage a little bit more, thanks to this feedback, to overcome that to get a, uh, you know, raise the supply voltage to get higher than 5.1 volts, have to go up a little bit. Uh, but once we do a little bit extra, once we do, the output will go high and help it lift it up a little bit even more. So it will solidly uh, set the output high. Once the output goes high, it's going to make uh, that voltage higher, which is going to help make sure this stays high. And then when the uh, output, when we lower this enough to set the output low, then this is going to make that point lower. It's also going to help it lock low, you know, Schmidt trigger, uh, basic stuff. But in any case, we have a LED here that will light up when the output's high because it's headed uh, to ground. We'll come over here. And there's our uh, Zener down right there. Hopefully uh, that's about as far as I can go. In. But yeah, there's the cathode. So you do it reverse bias. The way that it does not conduct easily, it'll, you know, conduct at a much lower voltage if we put it the other way right there. 10k resistor limit current there's our uh, positive feedback resistor right there and uh, so if you want to lock into place better you could use like a 33k resistor this is 47k you know pretty uh, relatively high value there not super high um, but uh, you know you just want to make sure you get that schmidt trigger effect 
you don't want this to kind of hover at about 5.1 volts when that's 5.1 volts uh, the output might kind of go like high and low you know just uh, with like stray signals in the air this kind of overcomes stray signals locking into place just a little bit easy to overcome but not uh, super easy to overcome hopefully that makes sense 1000 ohm resistor going to the LED make sure the long lead the anode is towards the positive supply when it uh, lights up short lead the cathode to ground you know and this is a, a trim pot wired as a voltage divider so you got positive on one end negative on the other it's a resistive element there's a wiper that slides along that resistive element to give you a fraction of the supply voltage as long as no current is demanded these inputs these op amp inputs um, do not depend on current going in or out just a tiny bit leaks through you know it's not a perfect insulator um, but uh, practically no current goes through it just looks at that voltage so the voltage divider will work well and there you can see the symbol it's a resistor uh, voltage across it and then a wiper that taps into it because we're using it as a voltage divider so yeah that pretty much explains everything so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i post on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you on the next video